Hey guys, just got a big box from Titan Fitness. Let's see what's in it. View manual online. This is the Y dip attachment for my T3 41 inch folding rack. You could see videos of it elsewhere. Let you take a look at the quality of the welds and the finish. See what you think about that. This is how it comes. Brand new out of the box. Here's another look at these welds. The end caps here, as well as the finish. Let's look at the mounting point. I can tell you it feels substantial. And uh, there is some of that plastic to protect the rack. It's only on this side, there's none on the ends here, but this piece does look pretty nicely finished. Uh, the screws are recessed in the plastic, so that we shouldn't have a problem. This one's recessed slightly more in this one, but other than that, it's okay. And this bracket seems to be all right. It's very heavy, feels very substantial. We'll put it on the rack and try it out. There's a little bit of a finishing detail there. You saw the T laser cut into the 
support there. And here's just another look at the finish, the way it comes to you at the house. All right, see what you think about that. I know what I think about it. Let's go try it out. Okay, brought the dip attachment up to the loft gym. So let's mount on the rack and see how it goes. Okay, this went on pretty easy, no surprises, aside from the fact that it mounts to the side of the upright. So in the case of a normal rack, that might not be an issue, but because I have a folding rack, it's gonna be interesting to apply all that side load to uh, one upright that's it basically being held by just uh, two pins and two hinges from shifting around. So let's try a few dips and see how it goes. So you saw and heard that. It's basically causing a bow in the upright. And because it's not that steady, the J hooks and everything else are just rotting a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be a major issue. So I think they worked out okay. So there you have it. Titan Fitness, dip attachment.